Howdy y'all, I'm Ice Gold, and today I'll be going over the Rochambeau wheel that I mentioned in my video on Friday. Um, because <laughs> I didn't really go into too much detail on it, so figured I might as well explain it. Uh, it basically just covers each school's individual hanging effect identities. Um, <laughs> if that makes any sense, uh, I hope it will shortly, but you might think, you know, you know, ice and fire are opposites, for example, so they counter each other, but things are different now. <laughs> and uh, with the NOAS update, there has been quite a bit of change in that regard. So let's get started. So Rochambeau is basically just Ratbeard's fancy schmancy way of saying rock, paper, scissors. And, you know, I'm sure everyone knows what Rock, Paper, Scissors is. <laughs> and it works the same way in Wiz. So, for the elemental schools, which are on the outside of the Rochambeau wheel, think of Storm as Rock, Fire as Scissors, and Ice as Paper. It's a little different, <laughs> but the way I like to remember these is Water quenches Fire, so, you know, Storm Fire, and then Fire melts Ice, and then ice freezes water. That's uh, that's one way to remember it, and it's how I always go about the Eon of Atavis fight uh, whenever I'm farming it, because with the Polymorphs, if you get changed into the Monkeeston, for example, that's your fire and myth form, and you attack the Atavis Penguin, which is the ice and death form. And while we're on that note, the inside of the Rochambeau wheel with death, myth, and life works the same way. Myth counters death, death counters life, and life counters myth. You know, obviously that's going to be <laughs> a little bit odd as well, and I, <laughs> I don't really have a similar kind of analogy for the spirit schools as I do the elementals. But I figured let's go on and get into what each of the symbols mean for each school. So, as you can see in the top right, fire is the damage over time school. Damage over times have always been a part of Fire's identity, but it has been emphasized a lot more as of late. Since Fire counters Ice, uh, Ice is the shield school, uh, as you can see by the Absorb there. Uh, even though Ice is not the Absorb school, it's the uh, quote-unquote Ward school. So, I mean, really, that just encompasses Shields and Absorbs. So, it's, it's like a natural type counter, damage over times, breaking Shields. That makes sense, if you ask me. And ice, you know, shields countering blades also makes sense. Because, you know, shields are a direct counter to blades. So, and then as for, you know, blades countering overtimes, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But, you know, that's just where, that's just where it loops again. So, yeah. Um, Storm is the charm school. Ice is the ward school. Fire is the damage overtime school. That's basically what this boils down to. So, for the spirit schools, as you can see, myth in the bottom right there is the jinx school. I don't know why they started calling those jinxes, <laughs> as opposed to just traps like they've always been called, but... So, jinxes are apparently supposed to counter curses, <laughs> which is uh, what they're calling weaknesses now. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little different when it comes to the spirit schools. It's... It might not make as much sense, but that's that's just how it's supposed to look. Myth is supposed to counter death, uh, with death being the curse school, and then death is supposed to counter life, with life being the heal overtime school, and then life is supposed to counter myth being the jinx school. Now, an interesting part of this Rochambeau wheel that I touched on briefly uh, back in my video on Friday, is the fact that each of these schools counters two other schools, and then they get countered by two other schools. So, it's <laughs> it'll look a little bit strange, but the best way that I can really describe it is, so let's talk about like ice versus storm. Ice counters storm, but on the wheel, death is on the way to storm. So, ice counters death, as well as storm. And then, you know, Storm is supposed to counter life and fire, 
fire is supposed to counter myth and ice. It uh, it comes full circle, and though it may seem a little bit odd, um, that is the uh, elemental versus spirit, I guess, counter wheel. And you'll see you'll see PvP players talk about you know counter matchups and all that. Uh, like if you're myth and you're going against life, you know life is your counter school. Um, and these show in the Rochambeau spells as well. Uh, looking at ices, uh, we have Wall of Blades and Oni's Destruction, which counter Charms, which is Storm's identity. And then we have Glacial Fortress and Jin's Vexation, which counter Curses, which is Death's identity. And then, as I showed in the uh, other video, you have you know, like fire spells, for example. Um, I think Meltdown, it is, uh, counters shields and then adds overtimes. I could be wrong there, <laughs> but that's fire countering ice as the ward school. And then fire also counters myth by having trap counters in as well. I think Jin's Reversal is one of the ones that deals with traps over on the fire school. So that's the elemental spirit counter right there for you know fire and myth just as an example uh, and I could really go on all day <laughs> but uh, by now just uh, just remember if you look at the wheel a school will counter the next school that an arrow points to and it will get countered by the school that has an arrow pointing to them and it will also counter the spirit school that's on the way to the next arrow and will get countered by the spirit school that's behind it on the arrow facing toward them so yeah it's it's needlessly complicated but <laughs> uh that's just the best way i can really describe it uh, that's just how advanced combat is these days so you know i hope you learned something <laughs> thank you all for watching if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and leave like 50 comments for the algorithm i hope you learned something today i've been ice gold peace out y'all